हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू वेलकम टू मेहदी इंग्लिश स्कूल माई सेल्फ नीलो फॉर्मिस एंड माई सब्जेक्ट इज मैथमेटिक्स एंड दिस इज वीडियो इज फॉर द क्लास टू दिस ऑनलाइन लेक्चर इज फॉर द क्लास टू सो स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स बिगिन द लेक्चर विद द वॉट एंड टूडे स्क्वाट इज आई कैन ऑलवेज इम्प्रूव this sentence you have to tell to yourself that i can always improve my self always and every day you have to tell this sentence to yourself that i can always improve my self so this is the today's what here we are going to continue chapter number 3 which is subtraction so today we are going to continue this chapter here now our previous topic was checking subtraction with addition we also i also explain this concept this topic with the example and we also solve the worksheet but today we revise this topic here today again so you will be better understood this topic so let's begin this lecture today so here we are continue this topic which is checking subtraction with addition how it works what it means we are going to understood this uh, this topic again here so let's start here is the sum one sum are there you can see this here is the 37 number and here is the 17 number so first we are going to take this ones column here and in the ones column you can see at the top side there are 7 and at the bottom side there are 7 so 7 minus 7 is equal to 0 so i write 0 here you can see this i write 0 under the ones column now let's move to the tens column so here in this tens column there are top number is 3 and the bottom number is 1 so students let's cut one number from this 3 so if you cut one number from this 3 so we will get the answer 2 so i write the answer 2 here you can see this so we will write this 20 number here as we write here we will write this answer here i am writing this 20 number so i write this 20 number here you can see through this arrow so if we add 20 number here in the 17 so we will get this answer if our answer will different not the 37 then this 20 answer is wrong so let's solve the sum first so here i write 20 number 20 20 i write here you can see this now here here is the subtraction but here we are doing the addition we will add this answer into the 17 number so we will get the answer 37 let's see if we get the answer 37 or not so here we take one column first so here 0 plus 7 so 0 plus 7 is equal to 7 so i write number 7 here now here is the tens column let's move to the tens column here is the 2 plus 1 so students 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 so here you can see we get the answer 37 as here the 37 so here our sum is right we are solving the right sum we are getting the correct answer this is the way to solve this sums here is one more example for you students let's see the next example here we are take first the ones column here is the ones column which is 3 and 8 so let's check this sum is needs regrouping or not so students here is 3 which is at the top side and here is the 8 which is at the bottom side so you can see this 3 is a smaller number and this 8 is a bigger number so we can't take away 8 number from this 3 number so what we should do now yes your answer is right regrouping or borrowing we are take 10 numbers from this 5 so students this 3 will be a 13 we will add a 10 number to this 3 number so 
टेन प्लस थ्री इज इक्वल टू थर्टीन सो आई राइट थर्टीन हीयर यू कैन से दिस आई राइट दिस थर्टीन नंबर हीयर एंड वी विल कट वन नंबर फ्रॉम दिस फाइव सो फाइव माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू फोर सो आई राइट हीयर फोर नंबर एंड यू कैन से दिस नाउ दिस सम इज रीग्रुप्ड सो दिस इज द सिंपल सम नाउ वी विल कट एट नंबर फ्रॉम दिस थर्टीन सो हाउ मच इट इज डिस्काउंट after 8 till the 13 so you will get the answer let's count after 8 till the 13 number so just count through your fingers and we will write the finger number which will you get so after 8 let's count 9 10 11 12 and 13 so how many fingers are there there are five fingers so 13 minus 8 is equal to Five. So I write five number here. You can see this. Now, in the tens column, we will cut two number from this four. So four minus two is equal to two. So students, I write number two here. You can see this. I write twenty five. So here is our answer twenty five. Now this twenty five I write here. So let's see this. if we get the right answer or not here 25 i write the answer so this answer i write here now from this two numbers if we add this two numbers i want this answer which is 53 if we get this answer here as a answer so our sum is correct so let's start this answer we have to add this sum so this sign indicates we have to add the numbers Here is the ones column five plus eight. So students, five plus eight is equal to thirteen. So I write three here, which is at the ones column, and this one number, which is as I will write as a carry forwarded number. Now let's move to the tens column. We will add these three numbers: one plus two plus two. So one plus two plus two is equal to five. So students, I write five number here. So you can see this. We get the same answer here, fifty three, and here also of fifty three. So this our sum is right. We are getting the correct answer. Let's move to the next one. Here is the next example. One are solved, and other next one we will solve. Here is the fifteen minus six. So students, fifteen minus six is equal to nine. so we will write this nine number which is our answer write down here and we will add this answer into the six so 9 plus 6 is equal to 15 you can see this we will get this answer 15 here so this answer is correct now let's move here to the next sum let's solve this sum students here is 10 minus 3 so 10 minus 3 is equal to 7 so i write the seven number here you can see this now let's write this seven number here you can see this as number 9 is right here so i also write this seven number here so we will add this seven number into this three number here is the three number i write this three number here and we will add this seven and three numbers together so 7 Plus three is equal to ten. So I write here number ten, which is our answer. So you can see this. I get the answer ten as here. You can see the answer ten. So this our answer is right. So hope you understood this topic. The topic is clear to you all. Let's move to the next one. Here is one more example for you students. So you will be better understood this. Now. Here is the seven, which is the ones column. Let's take first seven minus five. So students, seven minus five is equal to two. So I write number two here, and let's move to the tens column now, which is six minus four. We will cut this four number from this six. So six minus four is equal to two. So I write. This two number here, so here is twenty-two number. Let's write this twenty-two number here. So 
I write 22 number here first. 22. Let's add this number now. So which answer we are getting now in this sum? We will get this answer. If we can't get this answer, our sum, 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 our sum will be wrong. Now let's add this number here. Let's take the ones column first. Here is the 2 number and 5 number. So 2 plus 5 is equal to 7. So I write number 7 here. Now let's move to the tens column. 2 plus 4. So students 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. So I write number 6 here. You can see this. Now you can see this. We get this 67 answer which is here. So our answer is right. Hope you understood this. Here is one more example for you students. Here is 89 minus 56. So first we take the ones column 9 minus 6. So students 9 minus 6 is equal to 3. So I write number 3 here. Now 8 minus 5 which is the tens column. 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. So I write 3 again under the tens column. So here is the 33 number I get as an answer. Now I write this answer here. You can see through this arrow. So let's write this 33 number there. Now students let's add this number and we get 89 number as an answer. If we can't get this our answer will be wrong. So let's start adding 3 plus 6 which is at the ones column. So 3 plus 6 is equal to 9. So I write number 9 here. Now here 3 plus 5. So students 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. So I write number 8 here which is our answer. You can see this we get the same answer here. I will show you through this arrow here we get the same answer here. So our answer is right here is 89 and here also are 89. So this our answer is right. Here is one more example. So you will be better understood if, if any students have been doubt. So it will be clear today. Now this sums needs regroup or not. Let's check first. Here is the 4 number which is at the top side and 5 number is at the bottom side. This is the bigger number. So we can't subtract 5 number from this 4 number. So we will take 10 number from this 6. So this 4 number will be a 14. So I write number 14 here. And this 6 number we will cut in the 1 number from it. So here number 5 will come. So 14 minus 5. So students how much it is 14 minus 5? 14 minus 5 is equal to 9. So I write number 9 here. Now students let's cut 3 number from this 5. So 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. So I write number 2 here. So here we get the answer which is 29. So we will write this answer. Here you can see this. We will add 29 number into the 35. So I write 29 number here. Students 9 plus 5. So how much it is 9 plus 5? Let's count. After 9 we will count 5 numbers. So let's start 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. So in the 14, 4 is at the 1's value. So I write number 4 here. And this one number will go as a carry forwarded number. Now we will add this number together. 1 plus 2 plus 3. So students the answer is 6. So I write 6 here. You can see this. We get the answer 64. And here also a 64 number. So this is the concept of checking the subtraction using the addition. Now here is your textbook exercise. Let's solve the sums of your textbook exercise. 
here is the 1 minus 0 so students as I told you if 0 is at the bottom side just write down the number as it is so 1 minus 0 is equal to 1 now let's move to the 10th column here 9 minus 5 so students 9 minus 5 is equal to 4 so I write number 4 here and as this arrow indicates I write this answer here 41 and just write down this value here this 50 number you have to write down here so I write this 50 number here 5050 you can see this now let's add this number let's start with the ones value 1 plus a 0 is equal to 1 so I write 1 here and in the tens column 4 plus 5 is equal to 9 so here you can see this I write the 9 number and we get the number 91 here is the 91 number I write the 91 number so this our sum is a correct I show you through this arrow you can see this we get the answer here so this way you have to solve this sum let's see number B here is the ones value which is 6 minus 4 so students 6 minus 4 is equal to 2 so I write number 2 here and in the tens column 7 minus 3 so students 7 minus 3 is equal to 4 so I write number 4 here as this arrow indicates I write this 42 number here and we will add we have to put this addition sign here we will add 34 number into this 42 number so we will get 64 number 60, 76 number here let's add this 34 here so I write this 34 number here you can see this I write 34 number here now here is 2 and 4 so students in the ones column 2 plus 4 is equal to 6 so I write 6 number here and in the tens column 4 plus 3 so 4 plus 3 is equal to 7 so I write 7 here so you can see this we get the same answer which is here 76 and here also a 76 so here this sum is right let's move to the next sum which is C so here in the ones value there are 5 and the 7 so you can see this this is the top value is 5 and the bottom value is 7 so we can't take away 7 number from this 5 so what we should do now now we will take 10 number from this 6 and add this 10 number into this 5 so 10 plus 5 is equal to 15 so I write 15 here you can see this I write the 15 number here and we will cut one number from this 6 so here number 5 will come so now this sum is regrouped so let's start the subtract we have to cut 7 number from this 15 so how much it is 15 minus 7 students 15 minus 7 is equal to 8 so I write 8 number here now in the tens column we cut 3 number from this 5 so 5 minus 3 is equal to 2 so I write 2 here so this is the answer 28 so we will write this 20 number here through this arrow and this 37 number here let's write this 28 number here first this 28 number we will write here first I write the 28 number we will put the plus sign and add the 37 number into this 28 number now let's add the numbers first take the ones column which is 8 plus 7 so 8 plus 7 is equal to 15 in the 15 5 is at the ones value so I write 5 number here and put one number as a carry forwarded number now let's add these three numbers together 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to 6 
so i write the number 6 here you can see this we get the answer 65 here so this our sum is correct you can see this on the screen this our answer is right let's see the sum number d here you can see this zero is at the top side and six number is at the bottom side so we can't cut six number from this zero so we will take 10 number we will borrow the 10 number from this six so we will add 10 number into this zero so 10 plus 0 is equal to 10 so i write 10 number here you can see this i write 10 number and i will cut one number from this six so i get the number 5 you can also see here i write the five number now this sum is regrouped so i cut six number from this 10 so 10 minus 6 is equal to 4 so i write a number 4 here let's move to the tens column which is 5 minus 2 so we will cut this two number from this 5 so students 5 minus 2 is equal to 3 so i write number 3 here so we are getting the answer 34 so i write this answer here 34 and write down this 26 number here so let's write the, this 34 number here i write first 34 put the plus sign here in the box and write down this 26 number here in the second box 26 i write you can see this so students now we will take the ones column first which is 4 and 6 so 4 plus 6 is equal to 10 in the 10 i write a zero which is the ones value and 10 which is the tens value you can see this i write now let's see the tens column we will add this three number together 1 plus 3 plus 2 so students it is 6 so here we get the answer 60 you can see this we get the same answer and you can see our sum is right here we are getting the 60 number and here there are 60 number so this our answer is right let's move to the next sum which is sum number e here you can see this zero is at the top side and it is at the bottom side so we have to borrow the 10 number so from the 4 we take the 10 number and we will add this 10 number into this zero so 10 plus 0 is equal to 10 so i write 10 number here and will cut one number from this 4 so it will be a 3 you can see this now we will cut this 8 number from this 10 so students 8 minus 10 minus 8 is equal to 2 so i write 2 number here now we will cut this one number from this 3 so 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 so i write two number under the tens column now here we are getting the answer 22 so as you know we write this answer here so let's write this 22 we write here and put the plus column and which number we will write now 18 this number 18 we will write here 1818 so i write here 1818 now let's add this number so we will get the 14 40 as the answer so take the ones column first which is 2 plus 8 so students 2 plus 8 is equal to 10 so i write 0 here and put the one number as a carry forwarded number on the ones column sorry on the tens column now we will add this three number together 1 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 4 so i write this four number here so you can see this we get the same answer here is also 14 40 and here is also a 40 so hope you understood this topic now let's solve the sum number f so here let's solve the sum number f so here at the top side there are seven number and at the bottom side there are nine number so we can't cut nine number from this seven so we borrow the numbers 
from this tens column so we will add 10 number into this 7 so let's write the answer 17 we cut the 7 number and write down 17 and then we cut the 6 number write down the 5 now this sum is a regroup so let's cut 9 number from this 17 so how much it is just draw the 17 circle and cut 9 circle from it how much circle you have now so students 17 minus 9 is equal to how much count it 17 minus 9 is equal to 8 so I write number 8 here you can see I write this 8 number here now we will cut this 2 number from this 5. So 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. So I write this 3 number here and we will write this 38 number here. And we will put the plus sign and this 29 number we will write here. You can see this. Now let's add this number 8 plus 9. So students 8 plus 9 is equal to 17. So, I write this 7 number and 1 number will be go as a carry forwarded number on the tens column. So, let's add these 3 numbers together. 1 plus 3 plus 2. So, it is equal to 6. So, you get, you can see this, we get the same number which is 67 and here is also a 67. So, hope students you understood this topic, this Exercise is the textbook exercise and I solve this worksheet here, this exercise here. Hope there is no doubt in this topic. So let's start the today's topic. We discuss the today's topic in the next lecture but I give the some information about this topic. Let's see this topic first. So students, our today's topic is problem solving and you know what? This is the last topic of this chapter number 3 subtraction. After this topic we will move to the next chapter which is chapter number 4. So students here we solve we are discussing about the problem solving. But I just half of the topic I covered today and the half of the topic we will discuss in the next lecture. So students let's start this topic today. Here is our topic which is story sum or you can call it word problem. You can call it a story sum and word problem. You can call this this way. So before you solve the subtraction problems there are some points are there too. You have to follow to solve this word problem. So first of all before you have to solve the problem, you have to read the problem carefully. Then find some digits in this. If there are some digits in it or not, find the keyword which indicates we have to subtract or add, add the numbers. So this uh, keyword will be in the sum and then solve the sum. This much easy it is. So let's see this. Here is one example. I have four cookies. I eat two of them. How many are left? So here this left is a keyword of subtraction. This indicates the subtraction. Now I read the problem. Now just find the digits. So you can see this. I find that this two digit which is four and two. So students always put the bigger number first while you add the numbers. So I write four number first. Four minus 2 is equal to now here you can see this here is the 4 cookies so I have to cut 2 cookies from it 1 and 2 you can see this so students how many are left so you can see this this 2 cookies are left so our answer is 2 what we write the answer 2 cookies are left so this way we have to solve the sum students hope you understood this but this topic we will discuss in brief in the next lecture so students this story sum or word problem we will discuss in the next lecture and uh, this uh, worksheet 
which I solved now in this lecture. Just write down into your fair book. Stay home. Stay safe students. Bye bye. We will meet in the next lecture.